Here we have a relatively interesting one against Luther. This courtyard big money. You could apprentice away your stuff and work it back into your deck. He goes for a courtyard, so I will pick up a forager. And a quarry, I guess. Here we'll trash an estate. And do I want an apprentice even? Not sure. At least not at the moment. In the end I certainly do want one. I want a treasury. And a native village, because why not? Do I need the native village? Not really. I guess we will buy a single courtyard. This will be a second forager. And this might be a second quarry. Now I will start picking up silvers. If I can, like here, I could pick up a silver. Although no copper is trash, but I can trash a copper and then trash my estate. And I have three. Pick up a silver. And he even trashes the cover for me. So you can also trash the estate first if I want to. And depending on if I draw my Forager here or not, I will put back the quarry if I don't. With the treasury, of course. And I don't, so I will put back the quarry and buy gold. Maybe I should have put back the Forager, but I hope I will draw it with the treasury now. It's one in two chance. And my last game was terrible, so I deserve it. Come on. Could you use your second buy? It. And I didn't draw it. So I guess I will just get an apprentice here. He keeps on picking up treasuries. He had three. I'm okay with that. Don't think it will be too important this game. Here I will pick up an apprentice and a rogue. Put my treasuries on deck. And now I do want a native village. At least one. Most likely only one. 
or bow? I'm not sure. You could also use native village as a pseudo courtyard here to um, stick back the silk roads, play native village. Pseudo courtyard? Pseudo island with a courtyard here. Putting back victory cards, putting them on your mat with native village, never taking cards from your mat. Could work out. I want to stick back the apprentice, of course. And I will get yet another two apprentices. Oh no, I, I do want the native village. And here I will play the treasury and apprentice the gold. Then I will play the forager, trash a copper, apprentice the quarry, play the forager, trash a copper, apprentice the silver. Play native village, set aside a card, play rock, take back the gold, play courtyard, pick up the gold, and stick back a copper, I guess. I have 8 coins, 11, 12, 13, 14. Fourteen. Fourteen is to gold and native village. And I do want that. And I do want another rogue. Treasury. Uh, native village. Set aside a card. Then the courtyard. Stick back the... Four Age. Play the apprentice on the gold. Play a four Age on a copper. Yeah, play a forager on the native village. Play an apprentice on the quarry. Play the rogue. Yeah, I should have done this the other way around. I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> and get back the gold. Um, and I do want to buy two provinces. Yeah. And yet another native village. Okay, this is an easy call. Apprentice the gold to boost my four edges. Although I could apprentice the apprentice. But I'm pretty sure I will draw my whole deck here. And I've still two native villages, don't I? Yeah. Play the treasury. Play the forager on the copper. Native village, set aside a card. Native village, put cards into my hand. And now I want to play the rogue. Get back the gold, play an apprentice on the apprentice, and I accidentally hit my 
stop record button here. Yeah, however, I didn't get the apprentice back, obviously, but I can buy two more provinces. And I will buy a copper, and this gives me a pretty good lead at the moment. Although this turn will be terrible unless he treasures a silver or something. But I'm okay with that. I think I will still win. Saboteur might have been a good card for me here, with another native village. As I'm wrong my whole deck anyways, most of the time. Yeah, I think I will trash a copper here by a native village and a copper. And set back a card with a native village. If he starts buying something before the end of the days or something. Okay, he did. Drawn set aside a card. It's an apprentice, which is terrible for me. But yeah, we can work with that. Maybe a seller would be nice. And here I will apprentice the treasury. Because in this six cards there are three golds, and I don't want to risk drawing a gold with the treasury. Although, that might have been the way to go. Yeah, it would have been a gold. Too bad. Um, put contents in my hand. Do I want to apprentice a gold here? Yes, I do. Play native village, draw and set aside a card. Play the four ager on the copper first, so we get three. Play a rogue to get back my gold. Play courtyard, stick back a province and set it aside with my native village. I won't play the next Voyager. I'd rather buy a province and another gold. Don't know. You put Big treasuries. Is that correct? Every turn. He said that he can't even hit an apprentice, which I don't think it's true because yes three treasuries in place since, I don't know, eight turns or something. Yeah, I hate scrolling in the lock. Um, so he could have always trash in a treasury. Although I'm not sure why he does not trash gold to boost his 4 ager because he can get back two cards at all times. And I'm pretty sure he had a gold in his hand when playing the last apprentice because he nearly had his whole deck in his hand.
Yeah, will he buy the last three provinces here? Who knows? I don't, and he obviously doesn't know, too. But I guess he should get two provinces and a couple of duchies. Or he can only get one duchy. Ah, he buys all the provinces. Okay. Comments and questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.